Well, after all the hard work of the week, all we want is a nice weekend full of, you know, fun things to do. Absolutely. Every Friday, we say que pasa to the 94.9 Mix FM crew, and they deliver us with what is happening around town. Today, it is Mrs. Grant joining us. It's so good to be Friday. Yes. We love you Friday. Know Oh, I wanted to say Happy Mother's Day because we thought we were going to get a chance to tell you last week, but oh, we wanted to you. tell you Happy Mother's Day. Greg was kind enough to cover for me last week because he knew he was going to be off this week. So See? he was like, you know what? I want my chance to be with those girls. So Aww. I said, all right, I'll switch it up with you. I'm going to be here <laughs> uh, next Friday. So we did. That's, well done, Mrs. Yeah, Grant. exactly. <laughs> but I know this weekend is a lot of like cap and gowns going on. That's crazy oh, yeah. to me. Okay, I feel like I've lost a week. My daughter graduates this next week. And so I was like, well, that's early. And and then I noticed that South Point is going to be kicking it off. South Point Catholic High School is actually having their graduation tomorrow morning at 9 o'clock. So even if it's raining, it won't be a problem. It's inside at the TCC, which is going to be fantastic. And then hopefully the rain will stop sometime tomorrow afternoon because tomorrow night at University of Arizona Stadium, the U of A graduates. And last year, talk about a juxtaposition. Last year, Bobby was there and it was so hot and you couldn't find water. And it's going to be absolutely gorgeous oh, tomorrow yeah. night at 7.30 for Love graduation. That. So that'll be fantastic for everybody who's coming into town to see their people graduate. I can't even believe it. I'm doing this next week, and I can't <laughs> So let's talk about food, because that'll make me feel better. Yes. <laughs> okay, the third annual Tucson Bacon Festival. Right? I'm going to totally got be there. <laughs> Did I you got get tickets, tickets? They, the, way, the day they went on sale. I was like, I'm buying a bunch of these babies. Oh, yeah. I was going back and forth. I'm like, OK, so it's $45. But there are 40 different restaurants that are going to be there offering bacon and beer, too. They're going to do beer pairings with bacon. It's like, Yum. oh, my gosh, are you kidding me? They'll do craft beer samples. They're going to have bacon masterpieces, like the one you see oh. on the screen. I think this is fantastic. And they're doing it at Kino Stadium, and it's going to be tomorrow. And again, it'll be in the evening, so it'll be nice and cool, so you better dress warm. Oh, yeah. I'm wearing my stretchy pants. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all about that. Well, you have to. It's beer and bacon. Yeah. If you're going to enjoy, true. you've got to be comfortable. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Especially good. if you're going to be outside. Don't mock me. Just no shame. Just no. bacon and stretchy pants. <laughs> and She's beer. Ready. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm just camera. proud of you. Yeah. That, I think it's great. Now, we have some shows going on this weekend, too, don't we? We do. Yeah. We have a couple of shows going on the old Pueblo radio show now we do a radio play in December and Dave Fitzsimmons from the newspaper is one of the co-writers with Bobby Rich on our show and he has written this old Pueblo radio show and it's going to be performed at the Rialto uh, theater and there are different local celebrities that are going to be part of it and personalities Marty Bishop from Mix FM is yeah. participating oh, cool. as well as Dave Fitzsimmons himself so that's going to be at the Rialto um, or excuse me, Rialto Theater at 2 p.m. on Sunday. And I skipped a big one at the Rialto. I am so sorry. Echo Smith. Yes. You know who Echo Smith is, right? Cool kids and sing all these great yeah. songs. They're actually going to be at the Rialto Theater on Congress tonight at 7 o'clock. And these guys are just great. I guess they did a European tour and... Um, you know, we kind of missed them, obviously, because they weren't in the U.S. So the fact that they're going to be right here in Tucson and at the Rialto, what a great venue to go oh, yeah. to a yeah. concert like that. It should be absolutely perfect. So I'm thinking that's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, yeah. For tonight. Uh, let's see. We have, there's a neighborhood block party. I don't know if you're interested in doing that, but a lot of people with families like to do stuff where they can take the kids, where they can play games and do raffle prizes and things like that. Christ uh, Church United Methodist, which is on North Craycroft, 655 North Craycroft, is going to be hosting this from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. on Saturday. And Crystal Stark, you are familiar with Crystal. Yes, we are. We love Crystal. She is going to be singing and performing at this block party. If you've never been to a block party, like, it's so much fun. Oh, I've yeah. sung it a bunch, too. And especially this weekend when the weather's going to be not, you nice know, not horrible. Nice to be out. Right. Yeah. The yeah. kids can run around, and it's not like they're going to get way over. Exactly. You can and... bring your pets. I mean, it's yeah. it's the perfect place to be. I mean, you're not spending a lot of money. Right. You get to yeah. just enjoy people, and it's right. great. Yeah. And it doesn't happen very often. So when you get one on the weekend, and you know that it's good family fun, and, you can, and you're going to show up and meet all kinds of people, it's just terrific. Oh, and yeah. And great. because a lot of people will be in from out of town for the graduations. Take Absolutely. them to do something. Absolutely. Yeah. Why not check out Tucson, especially on, you know, a weekend when we're not having crazy hot weather. It's not <laughs> 200 degrees. Yeah. This next one really touches my heart. It's called Stories That Soar. 
and it's part of Literacy Connects. And so it's a program where they actually take kids writing in the elementary schools here and actors put it together and basically write it so that it can be performed on stage. And then the kids get to go see their words performed on stage. And so it encourages them to write and it also you know, gives them an outlet and everything. And this particular show that they're going to be doing is gonna be like their all-star show. And it's gonna have many of the different stories that they did throughout the year. The Temple of Music and Art is gonna be the place for it. They're gonna have two shows on Sunday, one at 4 p.m. and one at 6.30 p.m. And I just think that's the greatest thing. That is, that's really great. But uh, Mrs. Grant, before you go, I can't let you leave our couch without you explaining, what is it that you have on your thumb right now? This is a Don't Text and Drive reminder band. So obviously, you know, here at KGUN 9 and also with our, sorry guys, I didn't mean to be moving around, with our radio stations, we've all decided to band together to Don't Text and Drive. I actually put a Don't Text and Drive app on my phone, a drive mode app on my phone because I, it's too tempting. It truly yep. is. It is. I've been actually following you on your Facebook page, watching how this is going for you, and I think it's incredible. This whole this whole thing is really important, and I'm glad that you're here talking about it. And there's the reminder. Yep, this is the reminder. Visual reminders are great. <laughs> exactly. Well, Mrs. Yep. Grant, as always, thank you so much for joining oh, us this morning. Oh, you guys, thank you. <laughs> have fun at the bacon fest. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure she'll have pictures next week. Yay! <laughs> now make sure you tune in to the Morning Mix every weekday morning on 94.9 Mix FM. It's Tucson's at work station. For more information, just head over to mixfm.com. Also, we would be glad to mention your event during our next K-Pasta segment. Just send us a message on our Facebook page, and we may mention it on the show.